Hello children, how are you? Welcome to day 6 session. So today we are going to discuss about the topic grammar, nothing but vocabulary which is there uh, after your uh, A reading lesson. So in your previous class we have learnt about uh, adjectives, a part of your vocabulary. So adjectives we have already discussed it, and nothing but adjective we are making into degrees of comparison that is positive degree, comparative degree and superlative degree. So the first uh, nothing but in page number 8 which we have did and uh, as in meanwhile I told to do the <coughs> paragraph. Now come to the second uh, bit that is read the following words each pair has uh, one word and the other is its opposite in meaning. So here the opposite words are given okay you can see on the screen that opposite words are given and by seeing that we have to write the below the fill in the blanks okay write the below fill in the blanks you can see that uh, as we know that opposite what is the meaning of opposite okay which will have opposite meaning mean different meaning okay which will not have so we are having antonyms and synonyms so antonym is nothing but the opposite word and synonym which, which gives the same meaning so here we are talking and we are discussing about uh, opposite words are antonyms okay so these antonyms you can see that here they have given big dark happy large leave long near open start thick appear calm so here when we are seeing this uh, big is nothing but the opposite of the big is small okay or we can say tiny okay so when we make dark light happy unhappy large small leave die long short near for open close start stop thick thin appear disappear common uncommon leave die come go so which these are the opposite words which we are seeing. Now you can see that now fill in the blanks in the sentences given below with words opposite in the meaning to one in bold letters. So the elephant eyes are small but its body is. So you have to write the answer. Already the small opposite is given on the or we can say the upper part you can see this the small opposite is given and you have to write nothing but big okay so the opposite of small we can say that is big next next the animals were happy in the beginning after the jackal entered the forest they become they become happy what is the opposite of uh, happy unhappy yes unhappy and after that the third one the giraffe's neck is very long but its tail is short okay so long opposite is short next uh, you can see that sweet mangoes are sweet but lemons are sour okay so here this is a new word which it is not there above and that is sweet uh, you can write uh, opposite is sour Next, you can see that the coconut is a tall tree, but the guava is a short tree. Okay, so as we can say the long and we can say that is short. So these are the answers of your opposite which you are given. So this is the second bit. Clear children? So opposites which were given above that is uh, you are having almost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6, 6, almost you are having 12 opposite words and 5 blanks were given and the answers for these 5 blanks are that is big, unhappy, short, so sweet. Okay, I will give you the numbers. So, this is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one and the fifth one. This is the second bit. Now, you can see the third bit that is the following pair of words are similar in meaning. Pick out such pair from the story you have just read. That is, means nothing but as we discussed, what are these opposite words when we are coming, uh, that is antonym. Now we are talking about synonyms, okay, the synonyms which give the same meaning. So what is that? Uh, first animals, means they have given creatures and small, tiny, okay, build, construct, tall, speak, large, big or huge. Uh, you can see that one more. You, you can get the meaning. You have written the words and you can get the 
meanings from our lesson if you take we are having a, we are having what peace what is the meaning of peace calm silence okay so not and what is that we are having unanimously okay all over united okay so that is when we are making the concern we can get so this is the meanings which we are getting now you can already you have written this 50 you can see this and uh, now again come to page number 8 uh, that is uh, the top one above the vocabulary you can see rearrange the following sentences in the order of their occurrence in the story so here nothing but already you know that none of what we are doing uh, when we are writing that uh, in, in your fifth class or third class uh, arrange ascending order descending order so what is the what is the meaning of ascending order ascending order means nothing but from smaller to bigger when it is coming to descending order big to small yes no children so here also it is not like ascending order and descending order just they have shuffled the sentences they we should arrange in a proper way and prepare a story so here you can see that rearrange the following sentence in order of their occurrence in the story they have given 12 sentences so here the 12 sentences and the first sentence they have given the any 12 sentence the first one animals and birds are requested the moon to help them the moon came in the form of a sadhu nothing but this is the story in a short form okay nothing but our story which our story that is peace and harmony is our story which again they have made into the short form and given in 12 sentences we have to rearrange the sentences in a proper order and we have to write it so i will read for this and you have to write for means so the animals and the birds requested the moon to help them okay the animals and the birds requested the moon already we know this lesson the man came in the form of a sadhu who the man the moon sorry the moon came in the form of a sadhu the jackal created an unfriendly atmosphere nothing but poisoned the minds of all the animals and creatures next the peace and harmony in the forest was disturbed confused astonished okay the jackal entered the forest the peace and harmony in the forest was restored the jackal did not like this so it killed the sadhu so when i am reading in the an order up to the seventh one you can understand that see jackal entered the forest should come before because when it then only the atmosphere become disturbed so you can understand reshuffle the sentences and prepare that and the sa sadhu talked the eighth one i am talking the eighth one the sadhu talked to everyone in the forest and tried to restore peace they often held musical evenings starting it is because peace and harmony they are living all the animals are living happily and after that they are maintaining peace and harmony then the jackal entered so clear children all the sentences are shuffled so we have to rearrange the sentences the animals and the birds began suspecting each other confused doubt so when jackal entered after the jackal entered they are suspecting okay that is so the animals and the birds were living happily together where starting they are living happily to the stomach of the jackal bloated and then blasted so these are the 12 sentences so we has to rearrange the sentences and we has to complete the sentence and prepare a proper paragraph here the first sentence is given for you as a clue means how to start so here the animals and the birds were living happily together so here the first sentence uh, here you have to write uh, to start the paragraph uh, is what is that number yes that is 11th one okay the 11th one is the first they have given you hint so when we are writing an essay or when you are writing something they will give hints no here the first one is given for you that is here the first sentence is the animals and the birds were living happily together and after that you has to rearrange which sentence will come next and which sentence will come uh, next you has to prepare the numbers were given and this will be your homework children you has to do and you has to submit so this is so today we have discussed in our daisy section about the opposite words opposite words are nothing but antonyms and we have discussed about the synonyms also which we have 
formed which we have formed and which we have written and after this we have made the rearranging of the sentences so so this is so we have cleared uh, in our previous class we have did the adjectives nothing but degrees of comparisons and after that we have completed the opposite words and the meanings okay so here you can see that uh, already i have told you the parts of speech in the previous class and i have given clear description of uh, the degrees of comparison also so in this degrees of comparison you have lent positive degree comparative degree and the superlative degree so this is about your test book grammar so in the meanwhile children when you are coming after the lesson you can see in your test book in page number 7 you have question and answers answer the following question so you write first one what is there how were the animals before the jackal entered the forest pick the words how were animals they, they maintain peace and harmony and they are having they enjoyed themselves how their mood was with celebration they are having musical evenings what happened to the animals after the jackal came to the forest what happened they started uh, what uh, roam along with their own creatures and after that so so these are the questions once you prepare and you submit then i can uh, give a clear description in our uh, next class okay thank you have a nice day